So we've got lots of eggs. We're gonna have some fun. So we're gonna go through tons of experiments today. And the first one that you already saw is the standing up egg. Now you're thinking eggs don't have a flat bottom. That's absolutely correct. So when I try to take this egg and I try to stand it up, it doesn't stand up. It just will not stand up no matter what I do. If I try to stand on its side, it tries to roll over to its side. When I put it here, it'll stay there, but it won't stand up. So what's the trick? There's a little bit of science. It needs some cushion. It needs something to hold it up in place. So what are we going to use for that? We're going to use a little bit of table salt. All right, so I have some table salt right here in this little container. I'm going to put some right down here. And you're just going to get it stacked up just the way you want it. And then you're going to just set the egg on. Oh, give me a second. And it stands up. Now, because it's salt, if I look really closely, I can see it. And I think we're going to get a nice, we're going to try to get a tight shot on this. But what, what I'm going to do is there's salt still laying around. I'm going to blow the salt away. So now when someone walks up to my egg and they're looking at it, they're like, that is extraordinary. <laughs> Sorry, the egg jokes are going to happen all day. <laughs> yep, I'm going to crack you guys up. So look at this thing standing up. So that is a fun little experiment you can do. You can set up multiple. And then when someone says, wait a minute, let me see that. And if they get too close, and you're just like, look, just tap it. And just falls over. And you're like, there's nothing there. Look, there's nothing there. And just wipe that away. And then you have some fun with that. That is one of my favorite little egg. Oh, I wonder if it'll stand upside down as well. So we did it with the bigger side sitting. Get the salt off the top. Let's try it this way. I haven't tried it like this yet. Oh, I blew too hard and knocked it over. But it'll stand up as well. Pretty cool. All right, I want to see you guys doing this. It's a Mr. C. It's a Mr. C homework assignment. We got tons of videos yesterday and pictures with things that were floating. We'll share some of those um, later this week on Friday when we do Fan Fridays. All right, so that is one experiment. Yesterday, when we were doing our experiment, we were seeing if things sank or floated. And I have some water here. And I'm going to put the egg in it, same egg, and it sinks. Now, while we were doing the experiment yesterday, someone said, wait a minute, we could do something to that water. And I knew exactly what that person was thinking. We're going to take some salt. You can use regular salt, or if you have the Mr. C brand, that's okay too. I'm going to put in like two whopping tablespoons of salt. And we know that water has a density of one gram per milliliter. And we know that the egg sank in that regular, regular normal water. So now I've added a whole bunch of salt. It's super saturated. It's not gonna dissolve completely. Look at that, there's so much salt in there. And I'm being over dramatic on purpose. And here we go, I'm gonna put this egg in now. And it bobs back up to the top. Now it floats. The egg's floating. Same egg, but the only thing that's changed is the water and what's in the water. So we've added some salt. So we've increased the density of the water. The egg now floats. And watch when you push it down. Woo! Comes right back up. Bobbing for eggs. Come here, little guy. So there is a second really cool experiment that you can do with your egg at home if you want to have some fun making the eggs float in the water. All right, I love that experiment, egg experiment. All right, we're gonna take this egg out. I'm saving the eggs to use them for as many things as we can until they crack. And once they crack, then we'll get a new one. All right, now this next experiment requires a little bit of vinegar. And this one takes a little bit longer, and we're not going to get to see the entire thing happen here and unfold before our eyes. I'm actually going to take a new egg because it's not wet, and I'm just going to put it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the egg into the vinegar. And what you're going to do, you're going to do this also at home this week. Get some vinegar, get an egg, put it in. 
Oh, did I crack it? I hope not. I don't think so. And what you're going to do is you're going to let this sit for a week. One week, seven days. We're not going to take this out either. I'm going to set it back here. We'll set it to little, sit it next to the little C and we'll keep it in there. Now, right away, I don't know if we can see it. Can we see that, Mrs. C? We start having bubbles. You might slide a little closer to that. All right, we're going to slide it over here to this. Whoop, whoop, too far. Too far. Whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. A little further? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> she's being <laughs> funny. All right, here we go. Can you see all of the bubbles that are starting to form on the outside? That's the vinegar reacting with the eggshell, okay? Oh, they're asking, what if, uh, what if the egg is cracked? What if the egg is cracked? We're going to find out what happens. I don't think I cracked this egg, but it might change the experiment. So we're going to leave this alone now. We're going to let this do its thing for an entire week. And actually, after about a day, 24 hours, I'm going to pour off the vinegar, and I'm going to put new vinegar in it. Um, so I'm going to maintain, I'm going to keep it in the vinegar, I'm going to pour some off, but I'm going to add new vinegar one time in about a day, just so that we have fresh vinegar so that it can have its reaction take place. And then we're going to see what that does. And we'll also set up a couple of extra eggs so that we can have a few to bounce around and play with. And these are large eggs. And so we've tried these with jumbo eggs. In fact, if you would like to see a video of us actually make one of these, one of our Full Steam Ahead episodes, and some of you maybe have already seen this on PBS Kids, we have an episode of our bouncy eggs, and we're going to show it to you right now. First, pour some vinegar into your cup. Place the egg into the cup of the vinegar, and soon you'll see bubbles. The carbon dioxide bubbles start to form as the vinegar reacts with the calcium carbonate shell. After a day or so, drain off the vinegar and put fresh vinegar into your cup. Let the egg sit for seven days. Seven days later, you're gonna have something that looks like this. You have an egg without a shell, and the egg is bouncy and translucent which means it lets a little bit of light through. The egg also got a little bit bigger because the water and the vinegar moved into the egg through osmosis. So you might like your egg scrambled or sunny side up, but I, I like mine bouncy. And remember, until next time, keep learning full steam ahead. Wasn't that amazing? So that was a jumbo egg, and that's what happened after a week worth of setting that up. Now here's top secret information. And we don't have the video clips of this because they're actually at Think TV. But top secret, when we did that shot, when we did that experiment, we had like six, what, five or six eggs at least. But they were the jumbo eggs, the really long ones. I don't think I left them in the vinegar long enough. You could see the yolk still moving around really well. And when we dropped them the first couple of times, it just went, whoosh, just splattered everywhere. So when we did those bounces, we couldn't drop them from as high as I wanted. I had to drop them about halfway down. And we came down to our last egg to get that shot, the one you saw there in the video. So that's top secret behind the scene footage that you can't tell anybody about. So don't let anyone see this. You don't want to let them know what actually happened behind the scenes. All right, here we go. We've already done this one before on the mornings, Mr. C Live in the mornings, but we're gonna do it again in case you haven't seen it. I've got some empty, empty jars here. These were um, like, coffee jars. I've got different size ones. It doesn't matter if it's a coffee jar or not. But what you can do is you take some eggs, you boil those eggs. Oh, they do have a question. Will the, oh. egg, will the egg rot when you're leaving it out for that long? Like, will the egg rot? Yeah, because you're leaving it sitting out for a week. But it's submerged in the vinegar. So right. the egg, it's not going to rot, but it's going to undergo a change. And we've talked about this a little bit physical and chemical changes, right? So if a physical change is when you take something, say like paper, and you tear it in half, it's still paper, it's in two parts. But what we're doing, and we're gonna talk about it when the egg is done, what we're doing is we're creating something new. We're taking what we originally had and we're changing it to something new. So it's going through a chemical change and we'll never get the regular egg back. So is it gonna rot? It's changing. I'm not sure if we're going to call that rotting or not, but it's definitely different. It's like pickles when you put pickles. Yeah, it's like pickling. Yeah, it's like pickling. All right. Good question. So here we go. Inside of this container, there's nothing. It's empty. We already drank that. What's wrong? Empty. Like, oh. Like your head. 
So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of paper. And I'm going to take this egg and I'm going to put it on top of this egg. Not on top of the egg, on top of the jar. Right now it's not doing anything. Right? It doesn't fit in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to try something to see if we can make this work. I'm going to add a little bit of flame. Now, if you're doing this experiment at home, obviously you're doing this with a parent. Your parent is managing this part of it. If you're not allowed to do this, that's why we're doing this video for you to watch. All right, you're going to get that nice and hot. Oh, that was awesome. It went straight in. No hesitation. All right. So that egg is stuck inside the bottle and it's not coming back out. It's not going to come back out by itself like that without any help. Now, do you think we can get that egg back out? Absolutely. So we've talked about this before. This is pressure, right? So we have air pressure. Air is pushing on everything around us. It's pushing on the egg when it's sitting here. But what's happening is it's not pushing enough because there's air inside of this that's pushing back up, right? So the air in here is pushing up. The air out here is pushing down. Those are essentially equal. But what we do is when we burn that flame inside of there, it burns up stuff that's in the air, the oxygen, it removes the oxygen. And what happens is when that pressure changes in there, it becomes less, it, pop, it gets sucked in, it gets pushed in actually, it gets pushed in by the air. So how do we get it back out? Same way we got it in, we need to work with pressure. It's wrapped, it's wrapped in that paper. I don't know if it's gonna make it out. Let me take the paper out. Here we go. This is my favorite part of this egg experiment. Oh, it's, I don't know if it's going to, I don't know if I got enough pressure behind it. I was trying to push as much air inside of there as possible. Nope. And now it's kind of stuck in between. <laughs> I'm just going to let this sit here. We're going to do it again. It's because we didn't capture it. All right. Do we have the camera set up nice and tight? Uh, hold on here. All right. I'm trying to find the right size paper. Perfect. And let that burn. And another trick to this, and I just took a little dab of it. I took a little bit of vegetable oil and I just put it on here just so that that egg would not tear into the glass. So that it gave it a little bit of um, fluid there to kind of rub against. All right? All right, we're ready. All right, here we go. We are ready. We are set. I'm going to turn it that way so we can see no... Logos or branding is in the way. We're going to light this up. We need a countdown. In three, two, one. Here we go, here we go. I'm going to get that. Let it... <laughs> it never gets old, it doesn't. All right, so that one shot in there really quickly, got pushed in there. And we have one more. We're gonna try, I'm gonna put this right up here. We've done this one as well, but this time we're gonna do it with two candles. And what we're gonna do this time, I'm gonna light these candles and I'm going to take another jar. Make sure I can get it around the candles. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up. And we're gonna see if it'll lift off. Here we go. Get that one lit. Get that one lit. All right, they're burning nice and bright. If anybody out there has a birthday today, happy birthday, this is for you. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, wow, that just went up beautifully. And what I like about doing it this way versus this one is that I don't get all the paper in there, so now it's sitting here perfectly. There's no paper wrapped in there that's stuck on the egg. I'm gonna try to shoot this one back out by increasing the pressure. Here we go, and then we're gonna move to our next egg experiment. Countdown. I need a countdown. I need your help on this one. I've gotta blow super hard into this so that it shoots back out. Oh, there's egg right there. I'm not a boiled egg fan. I love scrambled eggs. Here we go, in three, two, one. 
Come on. Come on, little egg. Oh, it's going. Come on, I'm going to help you. <laughs> All right, we're stuck. <laughs> All right, so now we have an egg stuck in a bottle. Two. We've got one more. I've got to try to get this out. All right, we're going to try it one more time. I'm going to blow as hard as I can. I can't hear you guys. I, you know what it is when we do a live show, I usually have an audience screaming at me. I need you screaming at the TV right now or at the computer monitor. Your parents, ask your parents to cheer with you. We need to get this egg out of here. We need to save the egg. Here we go. In three, two, one. Yeah, I could hear you guys. Oh, that was awesome. Look at it, it's all just like, all icky. All right, so we've got an egg out, an egg stuck, an egg stuck. Next egg experiment. All right. Woo! That one popped out pretty easily after that one. Eggs are pretty strong. Their shells are incredibly strong. And so what you can do is you can take an egg in your hand, and you can just cup the egg. Now, you guys know, you've seen Sven on here before. That dude is super buff and he's my personal trainer. We've been working really hard. And so what we've got going on is, um, here, get a close shot of this and I'll squeeze it. Are we tight? All right, are we up here too? Or just this one? Which way do you want it? Just one full shot here. Okay. All right, so what I wanna do is squeeze this as hard as I can and I'm applying pressure, I'm squeezing super hard, and the egg's not breaking. All right, so what's happening is when I'm applying pressure, I'm applying pressure equally all around this egg, and so the egg isn't gonna break under the pressure. Yeah, all right. Now, if I do it with this hand versus this hand, do you notice any difference? We don't want that rolling off the table. Do you notice any difference? Well, this is my right hand and this is my left hand. But you see this, my ring? If I try to squeeze this with my ring on this hand, odds are it's going to break. I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't wanna break it. But I want you to try this at home. So do this over like the kitchen sink. Grab an egg, cup it, and try to get it balanced in your hand equally, and then squeeze as hard as you can. Bless you. Goes on tight. So, it doesn't break. I think that's a pretty cool thing. These eggs are super tough and super strong. So what we're gonna try now, I have not attempted this before. This is the first time. So I grabbed some old rolls of tape out in the garage, and I'm, I don't wor I'm not worried about the tape. I'm actually more concerned with the ring. And so what I've done here is I've been able to find something that holds my egg up like that. So kind of like the salt, which allowed my egg to be balanced and hold the egg up straight, I have this little piece of, this roll of tape that does the same thing for me. And because I've been squeezing this with all of my might, I'm gonna grab a different egg for this experiment, just so that we don't have that as a variable of, um, that could have impacted the strength of the egg, right? So we have a new egg, and what I have is another ring, just of electrical tape, that I'm going to put on top of it. Right? So, it's like a crown. You have been knighted, my little friend. Shh. All right, so we have, oh, that looks cool. You can put like a little eyes on it and be like, hey, I'm cool looking. Oh, you know what? I wish I had a Sharpie. We draw a face on it for this weightlifting. So, we're gonna try something. This egg, I have these plates here. They're five pounds. I was digging through the garage yesterday to find some, some weights that were flat, and I did. I found a couple. So I have, I have 20 pounds. That's all I have right now. I have 20 pounds. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this right on top of this. So 20 pound. There. That's five. Well, that's not 20 pounds. That's five pounds. So that's five pounds. That's okay, Mrs. C. Oh, that won't, nah, that's okay. All right, here we go. Here's 10 pounds. 
trying to keep it centered over the egg. Actually, I can just look down to see. I'm not centered. That's five. Oh, did I hear, is it just the... That might just be the weights squishing together making that sound. It's 15. Twenty. So it's holding twenty pounds. That's pretty impressive. So my question is, my question is, could this egg regularly hold twenty pounds? So like, if I take this egg and I just put it here, is it going to be able to hold the weight? Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> it doesn't. So there is our proof that this is a real egg. That's how I crack my eggs in the morning. All right, so the egg is a very strong thing. And what's happening is when we have that egg sitting there, the pressure is being applied equally to it. And it's, I just, my question is, is how many pounds could this hold? How many pounds could an egg hold? So there's another homework assignment for you guys out there. That's a challenge. Find some rolls of tape. Find some weight. Maybe you have books. Stack them up as high as they can go, and let's see how much weight we can get an egg to hold. All right, I've got to move this egg out of the way. Let me grab another plate. I need another plate then. I can grab a plate really quick. All right, orange. We got an orange plate. Here we go. We've got a couple more. We've got two more things to do. Hope you guys are having fun. Hopefully you have some really cool ideas of things that you can try at your house. And this one, you're just gonna take a jar or a cup. Magic. I have food coloring in the bottom. And we're gonna take a plate. And we're going to take toilet paper roll. And now we're going to take an egg. And we're going to set it on top. All right. So let's talk about what we've got going on here. This system here is essentially equal. It's balanced right now, right? We have this cup holding up the plate, which is holding up this toilet paper tube, which is holding up the egg. That is a real egg. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna apply a pressure, a force right here, apply a force. I'm gonna hit the plate that direction. If things go right, something should happen. But my question is, if things go wrong, something should happen too. And things go wrong on this morning show all the time, which is half the fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this, we're gonna see what happens, and we'll talk about it. Okay, here we go. I need to count down in three, Two, one. Did you see it? What did it do? That egg shot and fell straight down. Everything else shot over. Let's show you again. Let's do it in slow motion. <laughs> Let's rewind that. Egg on top of the system is sitting there. It is being pushed down and being pu it's being pushed down by air, but being pulled down by gravity. These things are holding the egg up in place. So when we do this, <laughs> it doesn't get old. It falls straight down. And that's because this plate, when I'm hitting it, do you see this lip? It's going and the egg just goes straight down and falls in. So my question is for a grand finale, should we try this with more than one egg? Or actually, before we do that, what if we try it with a longer tube? So we actually have some paper towels. Could you put another plate in between? Put another plate? <laughs> like two plates? No, that wouldn't work. I don't know. I wanna do what I had planned first because that could get messy, that one. All right, so look at my tower. It's egg-tacular, look at it. 
It's beautiful. It looks exactly the same, except for it's much taller now. In theory, when I apply this force, the plate should kick out that direction. It should pull the bottom of my paper towel tube with it because it's going to hit it, right? And then the egg, in theory, should fall straight down into my glass of water. It's taller, it's scarier, makes me nervous, but I know we can do it. I got the egg out of the jar, so I know we can do it together, right? I need you to holler at the screen. I need this countdown in three, two, one. One. Whoa! That I heard it hit the side of the glass. Oh, it cracked my egg. Egg Bert. No. <gasps> my little egg broke. It's okay, little fella. I'll use one of your friends for the next experiments. <laughs> All right. So are we ready? You want to hand me that? Yeah. Here's the broken one. Oh. So here we go. We're gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna clean this up just ever so slightly. Do you need a joke to hold you over? I need a joke. Do we have a joke? We have a good joke. They got it. They sent it in earlier. So what does the meditating egg say? What does the meditating egg say? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Omelet. Oh. Omelet. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> I thought that was very good. <laughs> All right. This is not gonna do because we're gonna try this with not one. Not two, not three, but we're gonna, uh-oh, one of my glasses broke. So we're gonna do it with four. We were gonna do it with five, but we're gonna do it with four. All right, so we're not gonna use the broken glass. All right, can you hand me that red tray, Mrs. C? The red tray. So, if you've never, ever seen this before. We're gonna put this on it, and we're gonna stack up four, but we need water, because if those eggs just shoot down into the containers without water, we're gonna have broken eggs. Water. Which is your favorite egg experiment so far today? Let us know. Also, if you like these experiments, be sure to share with friends and family. Here we go. So we're going to set this up. Now, those eggs have inertia, right? They want to stay right where they're at. Everything in the system wants to stay right where it's at. Now, what's neat about this lunch tray that I purchased is that I can kind of see through it because we have so much light here on set that I can see that these are centered in the center of the cups. And that's critical. You want this as straight up and down as possible so that when you try this, you are successful. And if you try and you're not successful, do it again. How many times have we done things on this show where we have not been successful? A lot. All right, I'm gonna use this this one instead only because so this was a uh, paper towel roll that I cut down so if you don't have extra toilet paper rolls lying around use a paper towel roll and cut it down all right here we go this is our grand finale everything is lined up oh my gosh I'm nervous here we go everything's out of the way for Egbert for Egbert. All right, here we go. <laughs> I need a countdown. You guys ready? You ready? All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Yes. I shot the tray off the table. Yes, that was awesome. Oh man, I want to try it. I want we can, oh, I have another. Should we try it one more time? I want to do, I have that other one where we have the salt water. I can put it in the center. And I want to do like four small ones and a tall one. Should we try it? Yeah, of course. Come on. Let's, we got to end this. All right, come on, let's do this. I got to get this. Hello, I'm back. All right, let me get these eggs out. This will officially be our last experiment for the day this is the one I want to see you guys trying at home 
and getting a video. All right. I need water. You took my water. I know you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We pour the salt water in the regular water, so this is going to be salt water in the middle. That's why it's a little foggy. All right. I hope my tray is big enough. Yeah. Ooh, it's going to be tight. Here we go. One. Uh oh. I think uh -oh. we cut off. We lost it. But keep going because All right. we're still Three. recording, so I don't know what happened on. Four. Five. Maybe I just. Maybe we're okay. All right. If you're still with us. Are we still there? I think so. I think it was just a... Are we at a glitch? I think just my computer glitched. So okay, okay. We should be okay. We were nervous. There, we started to panic. <laughs> Look at this tower. It's extraordinary. All right. Here's the only problem. I don't think I have enough like leverage over here to hit it without hitting the glass. So I have to shift everything a little bit. All right. Oh, this this one is getting soggy. This one. See that? I want this to be nice and strong. Here we go. This is our last hoorah for the morning. You guys have been awesome. I'm so excited about this. Here we go. In. Three. I need lots of leverage for my arms. I've done this at live shows before <laughs> and people have made it so hard that it's literally knocked it's knocked over like my glasses like whoosh. so the key is to hit this forcefully but stopping before you hit the glass you don't want to like knock everything off the table that's probably better to not use glass cups yeah glass glass it helps with the weight uh, but if you want to try a whole bunch of plastic cups give it a try a lot, of water in it to hold it. a lot of water. A lot of water. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Yes, that was awesome. Yes, that was awesome. We got them all. And what can I say? Today was an extraordinary day with my excellent science folks at home. You guys are awesome. I love doing this every morning. It's so much fun. I miss being at schools and being seeing all of you in person, but this is the next best thing.